In the 5th century AD, alone the name, Attila the Hun, terrified citizen of Roman the Empire and its vassal states, since the Romans had already accepted the Christian faith at that time, referred to the advance of Attila the Hun king, as a hostage or punishment of God. To this day, the story of Attila has lost none of its fascination. Attila established an empire from the Volga River in present-day Russia, until to the Rhine. Attila was known in those days, as a bloodthirsty and cruel conqueror. How did Attila manage to shake the great Roman Empire to such an extent? And the second question which needs to be clarified, which types of troops could send Attila into the field to fight the Roman legionnaires? The Roman legionnaires, had been for centuries the strongest soldiers in the world, and were mostly not be defeated. In this video, I tell you the story about Attila, the king of the Huns. Here we go. The exact date of birth, of the legendary founder of the Huns Empire which in the 5th century shocked the Roman Empire, is said by today's historians have not been fully clarified. The year of birth of Attila, was about the year, 406 AD. Today's researchers do not know exactly, where the name Attila comes from. A theory it is probably, from the word of the Turkic language family, Attil or Idol. So did the Turkic Normans who were scattered throughout Asia in the 5th century AD, probably called the Volga River. Another theory is derived from the Turk word Atta. Translate the father or the head of the family. Attila's father was Mansuk. He also descended from the people of the Huns. Mansuk was with his brothers Octor and Rua, the rulers of a Huns empire, which had first contacts with the Eastern Roman Empire. The Huns have by their dominance and strength of troops, in the area of the Northern Balkans, the Eastern Roman Empire obliged to tribute payments around 700 pounds of gold. In the year 434 AD, when the Huns launched the first attacks on East Rome, Uncle Attila Rua died. All power over the Huns went to Attila and his brother Bleda. At that time, Bleda probably ruled over the eastern part of the Huns. Attila, had the western domain in the territory of today's Hungary. Bleda was the older brother of Attila. For this reason, he was called the actual leader of the Huns looked at. Among contemporary witnesses, Bleda was hardly suited to lead the Huns. In contrast to Attila, who was able to stand up as a suitable leader in many situations. When East Rome, near the death of Attila's uncle Rua, refused to pay tribute to the Huns, Attila demanded from East Rome the double or triple tribute of gold. From the year 435 AD, Attila has led wars with other non-Hunnic peoples, which were to the north and west borders of the Huns Empire. For example, against the Germanic tribe of the Burgundians. In 437 AD, Attila completely destroyed the Burgundian Empire, which lies around the Rhine. 20,000 warriors of the Burgundian tribe, were destroyed by the troops of the Huns. The remaining Germanic Burgundians found refuge in the Western Roman Empire. In 441 AD, Attila took advantage of the fact, that the troops of Eastern Rome and their eastern borders were busy quelling uprisings, and seized with full force from the Northern Balkans to East Rome. The attack over several months was successful, and the Huns have reached Northern Greece penetrated. In 442 AD, East Rome managed to send its troops to the Balkans. The Eastern Romans were able to stop the Huns. The result of the Huns' campaign was that the Huns' empire was enlarged to present-day Serbia. In 444 AD, the brother of Attila Bleda died. Modern historians are not sure how Attila's brother died. From then on, Attila became the sole ruler of the Hunnic Empire. In 447 AD, Attila launched the next great campaign against the Eastern Roman Empire. The reason for this campaign, was the East Rome's refusal to pay tribute to the Huns. This war was much more brutal, and bloodthirsty than the previous campaign. If one believes the ancient witnesses, 
then Attila has the Eastern Roman troops smashed like a wooden beam, and has come to present-day Bulgaria, and immediately robbed and burned several towns in the vicinity of today's Bulgarian city of Varna. The army of the Huns, has moved further south towards northern Greece. The Huns were still able to beat the East Romans in some battles, and went to the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire to Constantinople. The city walls, damaged by an earthquake in 446 AD, had not yet been completely repaired. For this reason, panic and horror prevailed among the citizens of Constantinople. So they tried to leave the city as quickly as possible. Even the Emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, had the idea to escape. For some inexplicable reason, Attila has decided not to storm the capital of Eastern Rome, and went further south towards Greece. The Huns could only be stopped at the Thermopyles by the Eastern Roman troops. The Huns signed a peace treaty with Eastern Rome in 448 AD, and all the troops of the Huns have left the territory of the Roman Empire. But the price, that the Eastern Roman Empire had to pay for these peace figures, was a tribute that was much higher than the tribute before. In addition, Eastern Rome had to cede some provinces on the southern Danube to the Huns. In 450 AD, the relations and attitude of Western Rome to the Huns, were radically changed. This radical change happened with the inauguration of Emperor Valentinian III in the same year. In June of the year 452 AD, Attila plundered other cities of Western Rome including the present city of French Orleans. The fortified city of Orleans, had a strategic importance for the Romans and the Huns. Because the Huns took Orleans, they could quickly cross the Loire River, and open the way further west. When the walls, and gates were breached by the storm troops of the Huns. At the last moment, a large army of Western Rome came to the aid. This army was led by the Roman commander Flavius Aetius. The warriors of the Huns had to retreat to the east to the Catonian fields. It was here, that the final battle between the Romans and the Huns was fought. The Roman army defeated the Huns with heavy casualties, and forced them to retreat from Gaul. But Attila the Huns regained strength, during the fall and winter of 451 AD. In the spring of 452 AD, Attila led a huge army into Italy. The Huns were able to pillage or conquer several cities of Western Rome. Also the great Roman city of Ravenna. Since Ravenna was the capital of Western Rome, Attila entered the imperial palace after the conquest of Ravenna. At first fascinated by the sumptuous furnishings and architecture. But Attila was due to plague outbreaks in his army, from the further advances on the city of Rome held. In 453 AD, Attila planned another campaign this time against the Eastern Roman Empire. The reason for this plan, was that the reigning emperor of Eastern Rome also adopted again. However, Attila the Hun failed, to implement his plan. Attila died this year. What we know today is that Attila died on the wedding night. Whether it's his wife Ildico, or the bodyguards which perhaps from the Western Roman master Aetius Flavius, or both killed Attila, we do not know. Attila was buried by his subordinates, in two nested coffins. One in gold and the other in metal. Just a year after Attila's death, the Hun's empire collapsed. His five sons which he had from several wives, did not make it Hun kingdom to a few. Over the next hundred years, the Huns disappeared completely, from the visual field of history and mingled with the local peoples. The last source that mentions the Huns, dates back to the year 469 AD. I hope you liked the video. If yes, please leave a subscription and a thumbs up. See you soon your channel history best.